Here's everything you need to know about caring for your lawn in spring. Hi, I'm Jo. As the cold weather fades away, spring becomes crucial for developing a healthy and vibrant lawn that will survive the summer months. So let's get into it. If you have buffalo, cooch or kaikuya grass, you may find that your lawn is looking bare and somewhat abandoned due to the winter growing conditions. However, if you have perennial rye or fescue grass, it may be looking green. Don't be fooled, it will still benefit from some TLC this spring. To kickstart your lawn's growth as the warmer weather approaches, begin by cleaning up fallen twigs or branches and eliminate any weeds that may hinder its development. One helpful tip is to tackle weeds after rainfall. This is because the soil moisture will make it easier to extract the roots. You can use a trowel, a herbicide or a weed puller. Your lawn may have become compacted over winter, especially in heavy foot traffic areas. To begin to aerate your lawn, you could use a garden fork, aerator sandals and in larger areas, a lawn aerator. Make your way up and down the lawn and try to space the holes out about 10 to 15 centimetres apart. Do this in early spring for cool season grasses such as perennial rye and fescue to allow oxygen, water and nutrients into the soil. When the lawn roots get enough of these elements, the lawn grows deep and becomes more resilient. If you have warm season grasses such as buffalo, cooch, soysia or kaikuya, aerate your lawn in late spring. From here, we need to prepare the soil by using a lawn booster, followed by a top dress mix. This will revitalise the soil, aid in the recovery of dead patches and save water. If you're planning a new turf lawn, start by applying a lawn booster and the top dress mix to get the lawn off to a good start. Now, depending on your lawn type and whether you have bare patches, you can fix any holes with a sprinkle of lawn seed. In most parts of Australia, spring is the best time to grow a new lawn from seed. The weather is usually mild, with temperatures being neither too hot nor too cold. The season gives grass seeds a chance to grow under optimum conditions. The second best time is early autumn. However, if you live in cooler regions of Australia, it's better to wait to the middle of spring until you sow your lawn seed. When putting lawn seed down, follow the instructions as there are requirements to apply another round of seed, known as cross seeding, after first germination, which is usually 14 days later. Once you've spread the seeds, apply a turf starter. It's a health treatment and root booster with the right nutrients to help new lawn seed germination and reduces transplant shock for newly laid lawn turf. Continue to regularly water lawn while it's re-establishing its growth and avoid walking on it until it's strong. Springtime can be tricky for watering. This is because nighttime temperatures mean that the soil may still be holding water. However, spring can be dry and windy, in which case you will need to water. To determine whether you need to water, you'll need to test the moisture in the grass. You can either push your finger through the lawn thatch and feel whether it's moist or dry, or you can use the soil moisture meter. Push this into the soil and it'll tell you if it needs water or not. Spring is also the perfect time to check irrigation sprinkler systems to ensure they are working correctly and getting water to where it's needed. Due to slow growing conditions during this period, it's crucial that you keep your grass length long and your mowing frequency low, just as you did in winter. This preventative measure will help avoid damage, such as scalping and browning. After winter, bring your lawn mower out and give it a sterilise to avoid weed contamination from autumn. You could use methylated spirits as it's quick drying and won't affect your lawn. Clean the mower catcher box so that it's fresh for a new season. During early spring, it's advisable to let your grass grow longer and mow every two to three weeks. As your growth becomes more vigorous, you can gradually reduce the time frequency between mowing. If you're more of a laid back gardener or just like to let your lawn do its thing, there's one thing you can do once a year that will really make a difference to your lawn and that's fertilise in spring. Including fertilisation in your spring lawn care routine can accelerate the growth of new grass promote the development of strong roots and improve the colour of your lawn. In cooler regions, you may need to opt for a liquid fertiliser until mid-spring when soil temperatures rise. If you live in warmer regions, you can opt for a granular NPK fertiliser, which will give you more sustained nutrition over time.
And there you have it. Everything you need to know to care for your lawn in spring, no matter where you're located or what different type of lawn you have. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.